Hey everyone, my name's Aaron and I'm a Product Advocacy Lead. And I'm Vivian, a Product Readiness Lead. And we're here to talk about the work that went into ArcGIS Pro 2.8. This compilation of highlights was created by the ArcGIS Pro development teams to show the latest performance improvements, productivity enhancements, and new functionality. With that, let's take a look at the top 10 highlights for what's new in ArcGIS Pro 2.8. Performance and Productivity A lot of exciting work was done in the productivity and performance categories. New functionality to make ArcGIS Pro more intuitive, as well as optimizations to make Pro faster and more efficient. For example, ArcGIS Pro now supports capturing the visible extent in a map, scene, or layout to the clipboard. This offers a quick way to screen capture your work in ArcGIS Pro and then add it to other software. Simply click the Capture to Clipboard button under the Share group and then paste into other supported software. Holding down the control button while dragging the selected layout elements will now create copies of those elements on the page. This also works for items in a graphics layer of a map. The geoprocessing tool Run Menu Now has the option of copy Python command. This copies to the clipboard the necessary Python code to execute the tool using the parameters and environments you specified. The tool does not need to be run first to copy the command. Use copy Python command to learn Python syntax and script and automate your workflows. Now at version 2.8, you can duplicate a label class with a context menu command, making it easy to build upon other classes. We have updated the table view controls so rows display as you scroll the table. The fast display is similar to ArcMap, with the extra benefit of being able to navigate anywhere in the table. The performance of the color picker has been improved when loading a large number of colors. We've also improved how we connect to portals so you can select the one you want to set as active and sign in without waiting for the entire list to load. Next, we're going to show improvements we've made to project loading performance. This example shows an APRX file that is 161 megabytes. It has 27 maps, 23 layouts, 10 database connections, and one open map view. We'll look at loading of this project side by side in 2.8 and 2.7. 2.8 loads quickly and is done in about seven and a half seconds. Let's talk about some of the improvements we've made to project loading. We have faster loading of project content, meaning it's right off the disk faster. And once loaded, we delay initialization of some aspects of the loaded content. We'll demonstrate that later, but generally we delay initializing UI components until they're needed at a later time. For instance, non-visible legend content in the contents pane is not initialized. We're doing the minimal amount of work needed to load the open views and draw the requested content. In the same large project, we'll just make a layer change and press save. With project saving, we've also improved the overall performance by reducing how much work we're doing on each save. We precisely update the content that is affected, and this reduces the overall save time for in-application saves as well as saves for project recovery. And there you see the time of about seven and a half seconds in 2.8 compared to almost 27 seconds in 2.7. When we showed faster project loading, we mentioned that some content loading is delayed. Here's one example. In this case, service layer legends are not loaded until the layer is expanded. Since the legend request is a service call for these layers, that would have been a performance setback at project loading. Now, we show a small spinner as we load the content. ArcGIS Pro 2.8 also sees performance improvements for drawing complex halos. This map shows annotation with transparent halos. 2.8 version draws significantly faster than the 2.7 version. We've improved the speed of loading the ground surface, as well as multi-patch and 3D object features from enterprise geodatabases or feature services. We tuned lighting and tone mapping 3D features and increased the responsiveness of symbology changes in scene and map views. Loading data into an RTS Online hosted feature service using the Append geoprocessing tool has been dramatically improved. Enable the Append and data editing capability on the service to take advantage of the Fast Append API when loading data using Pro. In this example, we loaded over 4,000 polygon features into a feature service in 28 seconds. The same operation took 16 minutes in Pro 2.7. Support for the Fast Append API for ArcGIS Enterprise Feature Services is planned for a future release. Data Engineering 
The new data engineering view enables you to quickly explore and visualize your data using maps and charts. It lets you dive deeper into the statistics of your data where you can evaluate the quality and distribution of each field prior to analysis. A curated subset of geoprocessing tools is also available to help clean, construct, integrate, and format your data, which is available throughout the view. For example, you can transform this skewed field or select the missing values to either remove them or fill them using fill missing value tool. PDF accessibility. You can now export page layouts as accessible PDF files. When authoring a layout, you now have access to accessibility options for providing alt text for maps, charts, and pictures. When you export the layout, you can choose to include accessibility tags and the metadata commonly recommended for accessible PDFs. The resulting PDF file will contain the layout text along with alt text descriptions in a format that can be read by assistive software and devices such as screen readers. Command Search Command Search helps you find tools and commands by name or keyword. When you find the command that you want, you can execute it directly from the search result like reshape. Commands are enabled in the search results if they can be immediately executed in the current state like base map. For example, to change the layer transparency, select a layer first, then change layer transparency. You can search for geoprocessing tools and open it in the geoprocessing pane like IDW. And when offline help is installed, you can also open help topics in the online or offline help system. Change detection using deep learning. We have added the ability to perform change detection using deep learning. Whereby, you can identify specific areas of change in imagery over time. You can collect training samples of areas of change, then export and prepare training data. From there, you can then train a change detector model to be used in the new Detect Change Using Deep Learning tool that identifies temporal changes in imagery. BIM support for IFC files. Native file support for IFC files is a significant enhancement for BIM and ArcGIS Pro 2.8. Support for this common interchange file format expands your ability to use BIM design data from many software vendors and third-party sources. Like the existing support for Revit files, IFC files are now read as building layers in ArcGIS Pro. Revit and IFC files are a rich source of BIM design data to include in your infrastructure visualization and mapping workflows in desktop or shared on the web. Use an existing tile cache to share web layers and services. If you have an existing tile cache, such as one migrated from one server to another, you can now easily publish a web layer or service for it. When sharing a map image layer, web imagery layer, map, or image service, enter the name and server folder location and select the new option to draw using an existing cache. It searches for the cache, displays its tiling scheme, and applies it to the web layer or service you're sharing. The existing cache is bound to your newly published service. Big Data Connection Dialog The new Big Data Connection Dialog is a guided experience that enables you to connect to your datasets and flexibly set properties such as time and geometry. It expedites data preparation by removing time-consuming workflows, such as combining datasets, formatting fields, or geometry. For example, you can now prep your data with custom geometry formats stored across multiple files and fields without calculating, modifying, or analyzing any of your data. SAS ArcGIS Bridge SAS ArcGIS Bridge introduces two new geoprocessing tools in the conversion toolbox. SAS to Table converts SAS datasets to tables that can be used inside ArcGIS. Table to SAS converts tables in ArcGIS to SAS datasets. Both tools work with both local SAS and SAS Cloud Analytic Services. The SAS ArcGIS Bridge also enables you to execute SAS code directly within ArcGIS Pro by using the included SASPy and SWAT Python packages. Browse Dialog Enhancements The Browse Dialog box allows you to access content from many of the same places that you can from Windows File Explorer. 
Under this PC, you can access shortcuts defined in the operating system to various locations in your user profile. You also have access to network locations added in File Explorer. Map network drives are presented as they are in File Explorer, even if there is an alias. Under Quick Access, you can browse to content in recent and pinned folders, depending on how Quick Access is configured on the local machine. As you browse to different places within ArcGIS Pro, that history is available in the drop-down list at the top of the Browse dialog box. Your project's home folder is pinned to the top for easy access, but you can jump to other recent places. And that was the top 10 for what's new in ArcGIS Pro 2.8. Thanks for watching. 